Hey people, how are you? It's Makeda Valletta. Um, I'm, on my, I'm live on my um, IG page, Makeda Valletta Travels. I will save this and repost it to my YouTube. Um, I am currently live from Fort Collins, Colorado. It's my first time in Fort Collins. I came here for a um, cannabis, research, um, cannabis research conference. And I've been in Denver twice, once in 2021 and once in like 2018. Um, you know, some of you might know that Denver is like thousands of miles above sea level. Um, and in the Rocky Mountains, um, it's a very active city. People here are very active and healthy. Um, a very peaceful place to me. Um, However, Denver is a very white city, um, not very diverse at all. And I feel like most of America is pretty diverse now, most cities, but not Denver um, or Fort Collins to me, from what I've seen. Um, there are black people here, but you kind of have to like seek them out. Um, yesterday I was in the gym, like working out in the gym here. Um, I remember last time I was here in 2021, I worked out at um, Crunch Gym in Boulder and this time I'm working out at Crunch Gym in Fort Collins. And people here work out for real. Like, they're very serious about training. Chicago's the same way. People are very serious about training. Um, it's like a different breed of white people here than I see, like, in New York, for example. Um, very strong and athletic. And, um, but in the gym, I was the only black woman in the gym, in a crowded gym. Um, and it was like a couple of black guys, but the gym was like 98% white. And I really don't see that too many places. Like, but the white people here are cool. And I've never felt like uncomfortable um, around white people in Colorado. They're pretty cool people. Um, there's good ice cream and good weed here. Um, if you're a cannabis consumer, like, like I told you, I'm here for a cannabis research conference. Okay. Still got my thing on. I'm about to um, run to the gym real quick. But... Um, some some like really serious cannabis connoisseurs try to say that Colorado d doesn't have good weed. I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I can't say I agree with that. Okay, um, here, of course, there's, there's dispensaries everywhere, but it's so cheap. Like you can get an ounce of weed for sixty dollars. Okay, of good weed for sixty dollars. Like that is absolutely not. Um, happening in any other state that I've been to. Definitely not on the East Coast, definitely not in Chicago. So um, if you come here, just know that. You can get like a half an ounce of $40, a whole ounce for 60 of good weed. Um, not, it's not legal to smoke it in public, just like every other state except New York. Um, I like to walk a lot. I like to be active. Yesterday I walked to the gym, it was like a 30 minute walk, but it wasn't the most walkable walk. Like I think Colorado, like when I was in Denver before, I didn't rent a car when I was in Denver. Um, I took public transportation, I took buses, and it was pretty easy for me to get around Denver that way. But I think it's more of a car city. Um, and the last time I was here, I took a lot of Ubers because it was so cold. But Denver doesn't, okay, let's talk about the weather because that's really one of the things I'm upset about right now. So yesterday it was 90 degrees, okay? Yesterday I came outside. I have my skin exposed. I'm like, oh, it's 90 something degrees. Sun was beaming. I come inside this on this campus. I go outside. It's chilly. Like I had all my skin out. It was it got cold. And so yesterday it was like 92. Today, the high is 67, and the low was in the 50s. Okay. See outside. It's just not nice. Yesterday it was sunny and 90 something degrees. That's the thing I don't like about the middle of the country. I've experienced this in Houston. Even Chicago's weather can be all over the place. Like when you're in the East Coast, the weather is very predictable. If you have a 90 degree day on the East Coast, I don't care from north to south, it will not drop down to 60 at night or in the 50s. It's not gonna drop 30, 40 degrees. The West Coast does that and the middle of the country is all over the place. Um, so, I mean, I looked at the weather before I came out here, but it said that, you know, it was going to drop down to like the upper 70s, but not 67, not in August. Like, how do you have a high of 67 and a low of 50 something in August? Not even the end of August, okay? Um, so I don't like that weather, okay? I 
to me, the East Coast has the best weather, okay? If it's August, let it be August. Let's not go from August to November in an hour. The West Coast does that, the middle of the country does that. I don't come, there's not gonna be a high of 67 and a low of 50 something, at least from New York down and going south, okay? So the weather here, I don't like, it's pissing me off. Like I was about to walk to the gym, gonna have my good 30 minute walk, but it's cold, okay? I have a dress, but the dress is still long and I'm, I'm too cold for that, so. I'm gonna have to take an Uber over there, but um, it is a very, there's a lot of hiking, a lot of places to go hiking around here. And some of you may know this, but when you're, when you're elevated, um, it, could, it's, it can be harder for some people to breathe. I've never had a problem when I was in Denver, um, but I know people who've gotten like mountain sickness or gotten a little sick, um, but it is, it helps you to increase your red blood cells. Um, so the air is, is, is good. There's not quite enough trees here for me though. Um, let me see what else do I want to say. I think the food is pretty good, pretty decent. There's good ice cream, good local ice cream places. And on my other page, The Body Scientist, I talk a lot when I travel. Like I want to do a video on that page about the food. If I have time, I've been sitting in this conference all day for the past two days and then tomorrow and I fly back to Chicago tomorrow. Um, Fort Collins, you know, I haven't explored a lot of it. I've seen a little bit of it. There's some areas that's a little cute, but a lot of it looks like deforestation. Like they just cut down a lot of trees, you know. Um, Colorado doesn't have the best architecture, okay? I can tell you, well, let me not speak about Colorado. I've only been to Denver and to Fort Collins. Um, the architecture in Denver sucks, okay? It's not, it sucks. I'm an architecture person, which is one of the reasons why I love Chicago so much. Architecture in Denver sucks. The architecture in Fort Collins is nothing to write home about. Um, Fort Collins is an hour away from Cheyenne, Wyoming. So if I had a car, I would drive up there just to say I've been to Wyoming. But I didn't rent a car and I don't really have time. Um, but I never knew when I came to this conference, I should have I looked at the map, but when I came to the conference, the first person that I talked to, he asked me where I was from. And then he told me he's from Wyoming. And I was like, oh wow, I've never met anybody from Wyoming before. Not knowing that Wyoming is literally like an hour from where I am right now. Um, let me see what else. Um, the public transportation is decent. I haven't taken it in Fort Collins. Um, it's kind of desolate at night. Um, when I walked to the gym yesterday, it wasn't the most walkable walk. It was like I was walking on the side of the highway. Um, I was on a road, a street, but it felt like I was walking on the side of the highway and the sidewalk was so narrow. Like, to me, that's not walkable. I really love a walkable city. I can't tell how walkable Fort Collins is. It might be walkable in some areas. I think Denver might be more walkable. Um, yeah, so good weed, pretty decent food, like um, good ice cream. You know, they're conscious of like local ingredients and quality stuff, which most of the West Coast is. Um, and people are always, you know, perpetuating this myth that like all the food in America is processed and garbage and that's totally not true. A lot of states in the U.S. you can get um, quality food from local farmers and every city in America is surrounded by farms and you have certain cities and certain regions of the country that's very conscious of that. Um, and so um, Dem Denver and Fort Collins is one of those places. Um, on my other page, The Body Scientist, I'm going to talk about this conference because um, this conference has been very interesting and it's been a very white conference, which a lot of times in, in the world of cannabis, it is, okay? Um, same thing in the world of sports, which is the other, the other world that I'm in, sports science. I was always like the only black woman at those conferences. Um, in cannabis, um, a lot of times it's very white, but most cannabis conferences that I've gone to are more diverse than this one. This one is super white, and um, I only saw like four black women. I don't think I saw any black men at this conference, but there were four black women. All of them are brilliant, <laughs> super brilliant. Um, if I came here for anything, I mean, I've learned a lot, and there's a lot that I want to share on my other page, The Body Scientist, but these women that I met, you'll be seeing them on my platforms on The Body Scientist because I'm going to start interviewing people. And I met one woman today who, she's a PhD student in Cali, black woman um, from Nebraska of all places. And she's a very interesting agricultural scientist um, and engineer and uh, two women from Baltimore. One is 
in the program I just graduated from um, at the University of Maryland School of Pharmacy. She's graduating next year. Um, her and her wife, uh, her wife was a, a chemical engineer, I mean, brilliant. We had some very, and conversations that like, the way that, the way that people of color, and I'm saying people of color, because I'm not just talking about black people. The way people of color approach um, health sciences and medicine a lot of times is different than white people. And I'll talk about that on my other page. I won't get into that right here, but look out for my video on my other page where I talk about that. Um, oh, another thing I want to say, Fort Collins is an hour from the airport, okay? Um, and there's no easy like public transportation. It'll take you like three hours, okay? So I had to take an Uber from the airport or rent a car. And I didn't want to rent a car because I'm like, I don't need a car here that bad. You know, I'm actually staying with a, best, a good friend of mine who's from Chicago but moved here last year to, I met, I met, um, I met Colorado State University in um, Fort Collins. And my Chicago friend moved to, here last year to work at this university. So I happened to be staying with her and she's like a five minute drive from campus. But, you know, the gym, which I was gonna do my 30 minute walk to, I'm about to call an Uber, it's a five minute Uber ride. Hope Foods is right next to it. So I didn't really need a car and renting a car was gonna be like five, $500 minimum for three and a half days. So I was like, I'm not spending $500 and that was the minimum, okay? Uh, for three and a half days, I'm not doing it. So the Uber from the airport here is about $100, okay? So that's $200. I spent back and forth, you know, to the airport, and then I've taken a couple of Ubers, you know, here and there, and it's been seven, eight dollars. Um, I got a ride here this morning with my friend. I'm gonna get a ride back, you know, when she gets off work. So I didn't need to rent a car and spend all that money. There are buses and stuff, but I just didn't, you know, need to. I, I'm obsessed with walking, <laughs> so I'd rather just walk up again. But now this weather sucks, so I can't walk. So I'm just gonna hop in Uber because it's kind of cold and I don't feel like waiting outside for the bus. So Colorado, I would love to come back and explore more. And like I said, I've been to Denver twice, both times in the winter. I've never been here in the summer. And I, before I came, I'm obsessed with looking at the weather. And before I came here, it was like 95 degrees for like two weeks. And then I come and it's 67 high, low of 50s. And I'm freezing. I've been inside this air conditioned building all day. All I wanted to do is go outside and get some sun on my skin, have a nice walk to the gym, and work out. But no. So, this is a very active city, very fit city. Okay, when I say fit, I'm not just talking about aesthetics. I mean, like, people look healthy. Their skin looks good. Uh, they look athletic. Like, they can, and when you go to the gym, they're working out for real. It's not, you, you have a few people that look like bodybuilders, which... But a lot of people here are like very athletic, and so it's a, I had a great like workout in the gym yesterday because I'm inspired when I'm in a room full of people who are serious about their workout. The, the, the crunch I was in yesterday had seven squat racks. Like, what gym has seven squat racks? And a lot of them were for Olympic lifting. And it just made me want to go harder. And I'm looking at, you know, all the fit, you know, people in the gym looking like Barbies and Kens. And I'm like, okay, this is my inspiration to just go hard. So I like working out here. Make sure I go to the gym now and make sure I go to the gym before I hop on the plane back to Chicago tomorrow night. Um, like I said, very white city, very Fort Collins, Denver, but you know, people are cool. I never felt any weird issues from the white people in Colorado, um, in my experience. I would like to, next time I come back here, I would like to go to Colorado Springs. And because I think the, the, the Olympic Training Center is in Colorado Springs and that is even higher than Denver. Um, and I would like to drive to Wyoming because it's right there. Like, I've been to, I think, 37 of the 50 states. So, it's got a few more states I need to go to um, to get all my states in. So, anyhow, um, yeah, I guess I don't have anything else to say. I hope I don't get off of here and think of things that I meant to say. I talked about getting here from the airport, the Fort Collins. Denver, you know, is easy to um, take a bus from the airport to your, wherever you're staying. Public transportation is easy, or you could hop in an Uber, but public transportation is easy in Denver to go from the airport to where you're going. 
Denver and Fort Collins are expensive cities to travel to in terms of places to stay. Like a lot of times I stayed Airbnbs. Um, I'm not really a hotel person, but um, the Airbnbs here will be costly a lot of times and they're in somebody's house. So a lot of the Airbnbs here might be like a basement apartment or, or uh, um, last time I was here, I stayed in a roof, uh, not a roof, but attic apartment. So the people live downstairs. Um, so there's a lot of that. And like I said, the architecture here is not amazing. It's just not. But the views are, the mountains, the Rocky Mountains that surround are. And last time I was here in 2021, I was here, it was Valentine's Day, it was February. And I went on a hike, um, very intense. Hiking can be intense in general, but then when you're this high up in the air, it's even more so, but it's so good for you. And here, I just want to smoke good weed and go to the gym. Like I was going to smoke the rest of my blunt um, my way to the gym. Yeah, you know, like it just makes, it's just, and people think that like, people always have this, this, this um, stereotype that cannabis smokers don't do shit and that we're lazy. When I have for years been consuming cannabis, cannabis before and after workouts. And I know several athletes that have. And I talk about that on my other page, The Body Scientist. And I'm happy to see that more countries are starting to legalize cannabis. Um, it's a lovely thing. Um, but what else? And I think they give you a limit in um, Colorado of buying um, an ounce a day, which is pretty much a lot. And whatever else I'm going to say, I'm going to say on my other page, The Body Scientist, because I want to talk about this conference and I want to talk about um, just like, you know, other food stuff in Colorado. Um, I'll get into that on my page, The Body Scientist. So if you want to hear more and talk more about Colorado, you can join me at the underscore body underscore scientist. And also, let me say the Denver airport is huge. I always remember that. That is one big ass airport. Like, I feel like the Denver airport is one of the biggest airports I've ever been in. Crazy. Okay, um, just crazy, crazy. Um, I think people, people obviously come here for a lot of stuff. Like, I definitely want to come back in the winter and ice skate because I love to ice skate. So I love to go to cities that are into ice skating. Um, I love ice skating culture. I love, um, I love being outside and being active in the winter. And Colorado doesn't, I remember years ago, I met a woman, a black woman from Denver. She's a famous um, jazz singer. And she was telling me that like Denver, that New York was way colder than Denver. And I found that hard to believe at first. Because you think of Denver, you think of snowy mountains, you think of skiing, but it's actually true. Because I, I follow the weather, like I'm obsessive about the weather. So there, there's several cities in the world whose weather I've been looking at for like a decade, like all the time. And Denver is only mildly cold. It might have a couple days where it's really cold, but it's mildly cold. Um, and it will go from a 90 degree, like yesterday, it was 90 degrees, and today is 67. It'll do that in the winter. It'll be like 75 degree high, low 43. Next day is 35. It's all over the place, but it's mildly cold. It doesn't get like, it's, like it might have a couple of brittle days, but it's not like New York or Chicago uh, winter. Yeah, you should visit Colorado. I, I would like to discover the black population here, but you have to like seek them out. Like I know there's a black neighborhood and area in Denver, but every time I've come here, it's been brief. Um, so I haven't been able to, to, to um, seek out the black population in Denver, but if anybody here knows about that, please feel free to comment, because I will be back. So um, maybe I'll get to seek that out, okay? I don't even really see black people on the dating apps like that, you know? It's very white, but again, they're cool. Like, I don't, they're genuinely cool people. I don't feel any kind of weird issues, and they're very healthy, positive um, white people, so. Um, yeah, that's what I have to say about Colorado. If you have anything that you want to share, if there's any other parts of Colorado, because I'm just talking about Denver and Fort Collins, if there's other parts of Colorado that you've been to that you want to um, share about, that you like, that you think I should visit or not, let me know. No, the energy is not bad. I like the energy here. Um, I think I might be a little bored, maybe, 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 I don't know. I haven't, I haven't, even though I've been here three times, I haven't been here long enough to like really speak on that, but um, there's good weed, good food, good ice cream, and lots of places to go hiking if you like doing that. Um, so yeah, and there's a lot of amazing research being done at the University of Colorado um, in cannabis, um, so I have a lot to share on that whenever I get a chance. So I'm going to try to do it 
maybe when I get in this evening, but I gotta be up early tomorrow, I'll be at this conference all day and then go to the airport. So when I get a chance, I will do that video about that. Anything you wanna share about Colorado, let me know. And um, yeah, I'm gonna head to the gym and I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye-bye.